Okay, so I've got this recording now, and there's all these options here that I cannot figure out what the hell. I mean, I, I honestly think there's just different ways for her to die. Yeah, I just, I didn't do anything new. I really, I'm trying to do this go through bathroom, go through storage room, into the bedroom, I think it is, or corridor to bedroom or something like that, but I just haven't been able to do it. Okay, well, let's get some recorded material. Oh god, it's this boy. It's handsome Connor. Mm. I've always really liked this garden. You can just remember where Amanda is. Oh gosh, where is she? Okay. Yeah, I wasn't totally on the wrong track. I think I'm still, he hasn't died in this run. Okay. That really seemed to be an intriguing case. Pity you didn't manage to capture it. I have no excuse. I should have been more efficient. Did you manage to learn anything? I don't think I've gone along this line of uh, questions. I found its diary, but it was encrypted. The other option there would have been for RA9, but I think we've ra 9 this to death on this run. Why is the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols? Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA9. So I don't know what that thing is that I haven't unlocked. You came very close to capturing that deviant. How is your relationship with the lieutenant developing? How to put this positively? He seemed grateful that I saved his life on the roof. He didn't say anything, but he expressed it in his own way. This is Connor, and he's chasing all the other deviants. He's uh, working with the police department. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this, whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. <laughs> Andy stands there looking kind of confused again. Oh well, when you're becoming deviant, of course you're going to be confused, particularly if everything in your environment is pushing you to stay uh, under, stay an android. This is actually a pretty quick chapter. So I know exactly what to do on this. It'll be pretty fast. Anybody home? Hmm. I think I've one hundred percent of this as well. I'm getting tired, can you tell? <laughs> it's a good thing that this is a simple chapter. With the uh, sudden comedic relief. And so Hank gets blackout drunk. Lieutenant Anderson! 
Now we have the world's least graceful android going through a window. I think this is sad. Easy. Flat on his back. Sumo. I'm your friend. See? I know your name. I'm here to save your honor. What? Seymour doesn't really do anything even when uh, Connor doesn't know his name. Okay. So they are friends at this point, according to this, the uh, flowchart. Very, very strong. For some odd reason, he's doing Russian roulette with a gun. He threw up and it's in his beard, which is just really, really gross to me. I mean, if I'm going to spend money on alcohol, I want it to stay in my stomach. Uh. Lieutenant. Come on, wake up. <laughs> Wake up, Lieutenant. It's me. Come Ouch. On. I'm going to sober you up for your own sake. Hey, you I want you want me God, look at Android. look at the size of Hank. Hank is I'm huge. Sorry, but I, need I mean, this is a big man. Not fat, just Thank you in tall and built like a tall person. Fuck out of here. I love how he just leans him on the wall. <laughs> oh, leave me alone, you asshole. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. Oh, this is awful. I know it's supposed to be funny, but it's just funny. Uh, I don't want to pass. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. It's for your own good. Uh, I kind of wish that he could just leave him alone because Hank looks miserable. Ah, to, come on. Oh, what the hell has happening? What the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> A homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world. Mm. Gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. I really like the, the diamond. Uh oh, we're having issues again. Maybe you should drop the case. Now assign someone else, and I can focus on my life. You've got a big ambition. That's all you care about, huh? Listen, Damn it. you're not yourself. You should beat it. You hear me? Get the hell out of here. Okay, we didn't completely lose it. I understand. It probably wasn't interesting. Damn it. Alright, I don't know if I'm still streaming on my side, but I am going to have to fix the connection to my PS4. Because it keeps going out. Gotta fix this. Cool. All right. I didn't know that would be so easy to fix because, uh, well, from my end, if I could show you the software, you'd see what it was doing. But uh, I guess we're okay. All right. And I'm trying to click the mouse. <laughs> anyway, a man found dead in a sex club downtown. Guess they'll have to solve the case without us. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. All right. I'll go get them. Let's go grab him something to wear. I mean, Connor and Hank are about the same height, but 
I think it's built a lot bulkier. Um, Connor's actor, uh, Brian D. Chart, is pretty what tall and slim. This is awful. Okay, so there's a couple of things I need to do in here in order to advance the story properly. Man, that's annoying. It won't let me uh, do what I want to do. There we are. Come on, trying to do it. Trying very hard to do this. There we go. Damn, I didn't mean to hit that. I wanted to ask him about it. Hmm. There's really no reason for me to turn this chair back up. Uh, this is timed chapter. If you don't get what you need um, pretty quick, you won't be able to get it. And I'm doing a horrible job of getting what I need. There. That's all I wanted. I just wanted that picture. Poor handsome Connor. So Hank lost his son. We need that for a few, uh, further story point. Okay, see, they don't give you a lot of time. They really don't. Be a good dog, Sumo. I won't be long. Okay. I'm pretty sure that ends this chapter. Yeah, alright, cool. So, I'm gonna call the night. Ugh. And what is this that I never get? Distant attitude? Why? I don't understand. Which is something I say an awful lot, honestly, when it comes to people. If there's something other than a distant attitude you can do there, and I honestly never thought I was doing a distant attitude, I thought I was doing the proper attitude of niceness and congeniality. Alrighty. Oh, we have to continue on this, and... Let's go over here. Close out to the main menu. So, well, I'm going to bed. This is really kind of late for me on my coast in Pennsylvania. It is 11.40. And I really didn't intend to play as long as I did, but you know, whatever. What happened, right? Okay, so um, I'm going to stop streaming and recording, okay? Have a good night. <laughs> and that's